everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm on a mission to hit a thousand subscribers, so if you can click that button below, I would appreciate it. So in the month of January, we went ahead and did as found on Pinterest food edition. So this will be our last one uh, before we head into February. And today we are actually doing what is classified a low carb, gluten-free, keto style taco salad. At least that's what it says. So here's the recipe we will be following. Um, as always, I will link, link it in the description box below. Um, so let's kind of get started with it. Okay, so uh, we have to actually first start off by cooking some ground chicken. That is what the recipe calls for, or ground um, turkey or ground beef, whatever you do prefer. So I typically like to cook my chicken in water. I actually don't cook it in oil, just for less fat purposes. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get that on the stove top now. And just cook it like normal, nothing fancy about it. Basically the recipe just says cook ground turkey or chicken or beef as would normal. And then we are going to be adding taco seasoning just like it is packaged on the back. So we're just gonna brown everything up. We're gonna add a little bit of water, mix that in, and it'll kind of soak up. So the, the chicken, ground turkey, actually doesn't take that long to cook, which is perfect. Um, the back of the taco se seasoning does require two-third cup water. I call it clever. I just keep it right in here and just pour the package in. So apparently I'm not that strong, so it's scissors it is. And I'll just pour this right in. Keep everything right there. And then I just like to mix it. So if there is any leftover water in the chicken, I will go ahead and drain that just so when I'm adding the extra water of the taco seasoning, it's not adding more water, making it soupy like. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain the water now and then I'll be right back. If you guys were curious what I was uh, chomping the chicken with, I will go ahead and link this in the description box below. Uh, basically, it's from Pampered Chef, but they have one on Amazon as well. Does the same thing. Just makes everything nice and choppy uh, so you don't have large chunks inside, which is ideal. And then let's go ahead. We're just going to pour this inside. Okay. Let me just make sure all the turkey or chicken is getting the seasoning. Try not to make a mess like me, but it's okay. All right, so then basically what I'm gonna do is now that everything is just mixed together, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and put this on low. And then what we're gonna do now, since it is a taco salad, is we're gonna go ahead and head back over there and start making the taco salad portion of things. All right, so then when it comes to the actual salad, they do list a couple items. Recommend, I guess you can recommend whatever you want. Some people are picky, others are not. I'm a little bit picky with what's on here. Um, so I've gone ahead and I just pre-chopped the salad, washed it, got that all cleaned up, so that's perfect. And then it does ask or recommend some onions. So I went ahead and pre-chopped those, so we're just gonna add those to the salad less or more, whatever you prefer. I personally did the red onion, that is my favorite. Whatever you guys choose, up to you. And then, let's see here. So I've done that. It did go ahead and recommend some tomatoes. It said diced tomatoes, I just went ahead and just cut these in half, went a little lazy on it. That's okay. Who's judging me, right? So I've gone ahead and added those. 
Um, cilantro, optional, not a requirement, but why not, let's be fancy. So I went ahead and added some of those, that's a little much. Let's remove some. And then um, cheese. I'm not shy with cheese, so I will go ahead and add a lot. Again, if you're trying to make it, I don't really know keto, so don't follow me if this is not keto, accept it. I don't have a clue. It's just what the recipe did say. And then of course for your dressings, you can do anything you wish or you can go ahead and do salsa or you can do sour cream. So I will be doing both of these. I actually do like both of those. And then also um, you just top it with a healthy fat avocado. So I will go ahead and add that in now. Let's see. If you guys are coming for a fancy presentation, you're on the wrong channel. Sorry. <laughs> I am all about eating. As you can see, I am making a heck of a mess. And then we'll do the other half, of the avocado. Okay, perfect. Guys, so far this is looking like a huge salad. So, should definitely be full after you're done eating this. Okay, so at this point, basically the chicken should be done. Let's check it. Yep, looks all done. So I'll just go ahead, just gonna add some of this to the top. Actually, I should try to show you guys something, right? Let's see, without making a mess. Of course, if you are trying to do diet, you guys wanna go ahead and portion this out. As you can tell, I'm not. All right, perfect. So since this is my actual first time making it, we're just gonna do, um, why not? I'm gonna do a live, how does it taste? So let me grab my husband, I'm gonna have him make a plate and then uh, we'll take it to the dining room table. So I am sitting down. I've gone ahead and kind of mixed everything together just so I can get a true result of how it actually tastes. I did go ahead and add the salsa along with the sour cream like I mentioned before, as that I'm making that my dressing. So let's give this a good bite, let's see. Mm. Actually really like it. There's a lot of flavor going on here. I'm definitely gonna rate this um, probably nine out of 10. Definitely um, highly recommend that you guys try this out. If you do, please remember to tag me on Instagram at Brittany in Florida. I do appreciate you guys following along. I do see the subscriber count going up, so I really appreciate that. This is my little new subscriber dance. So um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week with a new vlog.